So this is a little something I came up with, uh, which I'm sure you guys can figure out yourselves as well. Client positioning dot right, and I'll explain that as after typing it. Um, I'll see. Oh come on. Client positioning dot left. Uh, so let me make sure I get this right. Yeah, minus dot left. Close that. Divided by two and close that. There you go. So what we're saying here is we're saying um, starting x, which is that, that point we were talking about, equals um, the bottom right position of the um, of the window. So the window is this, for example, and we're saying right here is the bottom right, uh, sorry, the right, the right side is just here in general, in this area. And then we're saying that um, starting x, the x point, we want it to start there, minus left, which is here, divided by 2. So we're saying pretty much to start exactly at the center of the x-axis. So right at the center of the across. Okay? Because that's where we want to begin with it. And then we're going to do something very similar to... So I'm going to copy this because I'm lazy. So I'm going to do something very similar for the y-axis. So y equals rc client positioning dot... So I've got to make sure I do this properly because I always freak it up when I'm copying and pasting. Uh, so it's bottom. So it's the exact same method. So bottom, which is down here, and you probably guessed this, the top divided by 2. So uh, this will put us, starting x point will be right in the center here, well, anywhere in the center across. And then y will be right here around this area, anywhere across. So when we join them together, we're going to get the center point, exactly where we want to be. Okay. Um, okay, so what we're now going to do, uh, also guys, um, at the end of this I'll have the, the code with... Um, Fully comments, but full comments, which I'll tell you about then. So, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to create a scan contents object, which uh, it'll probably give us an error for a while. So after we've done the contents, contents, so after we've done this scan, I do it? no, I can't do that. So leave this commented for now, uh, and we'll do this in a second. And then we're just going to call system pause right here at the end, and we'll come back to this in a minute. System pause and what this does is it stops our program from um, stopping from uh, closing before uh, after the code runs all of it anyway um, yeah so uh, check my notes quickly yeah so what we're going to do now is we're going to create the class uh, scan contents okay so scan contents uh, and this is going to be used uh, to pass to our scan function so we can scan our screen. So this is just general neat uh, coding, um, at least in my opinion, I think it is. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, class, scan contents, scan contents, so scan, uh, oops, what am I, scan F, it's like, let's see, contents, uh, open, close there, and Class, what have I done wrong? I've done something wrong here. Have I? Or have I not? Just the compiler being stupid, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that seems fair to me. I'll do that. So scan contents, and I'm happy with that. So we're going to go public, because we want to declare all these variables as public, and do that. Um, so int start x. Uh, you can always declare them as private and use gets and sets, but you know, that's just extra work that we don't really want to do. Although you should do those, because they're good practice. Uh, so if you don't know about them, don't worry, because you, you really don't need to know about them for the tutorial. Actually, do capitals here, please. Start x, start y. Um, deduct x. Int deduct y. Um, so I'll explain all these as we as we do them. Um, uh, as because when I did this, I was kind of, I kind of confused myself to be honest. But I should be able to explain them to you when we do them. So compare x. Int compare y. Y and this will all make sense by the end of it. I can well probably guarantee you that. Uh compare and compare y, that's fine. And then we just do HDC HDC, which is our handle for I believe uh, each of our windows. But uh, I'll explain that obviously as we go along. So scan, we're gonna do our constructor now. Scan contents. Ah, uh, this is gonna have a lot to it. So int start x int start y uh, HDC, HDC. So all these are the mandatory variables, and everything else I'm going to add now. HDC, do, 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 that seems fine. And now, int compare x 
equals zero. So what this means is, by declaring it right here, we're saying that it doesn't have to be defined. It doesn't have to be sent to the constructor. So when when we call the constructor, we, you'll see that these are optional. These values will be optional. Although we're, we're pretty much entering them in anyway, compare y. But they're done this way, just so um, if you simply want to call and create one of these objects, very simple and easy to do. So compare y and compare x, but you don't have to do it this way, obviously. Uh, if you believe your way is better, which I'm sure it can be, uh, then do it that way. Deduct x, uh, no, not the long. Make sure these are small uh, first letters, guys, so we can define them nicely in deduct y. y. Okay, uh, I'm happy with that. Yeah, that seems fair enough to me. I'm going to leave a little winter here. Oops, what am I doing? It's not like that. Um, so what have I done wrong here? In oh, sorry, these are all equal zero. Sorry, 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 sorry. Dun, 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 dun. And that should give your error gone? Yep. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do now is going to say start x, x. Make sure all these are our capitals, so equals start x. You probably guessed this by now. Uh, come on, that's it. So we're going to do the same for start y. So just replace the variables here with capital Y twice. Uh, Press the start by accident. Uh, same compare x, compare. Uh, oops, x equals compare. X. Once again, follow it for Y, and this may seem boring, guys, but this is essential. Uh, it's just to, to make it easy for us to work with um, our scanning uh, function that we're going to create in a minute. Okay, so uh, deduct X and deduct Y. Deduct X equals deduct X. I'm happy with that. Um, and same with deduct Y, obviously. Uh, oops, that's it. Swap those around. Oh come on! Also, I got some seriously good tutorials for you guys coming up, so be on the lookout for those. I don't know no one's subscribing because you guys have to stick around because the hacks are just too sexy for you guys to leave. So um, okay, especially for you new subscribers. I know you love this stuff. So HDC equals HDC. Um, oops. Yep, I'm happy with that. So that's pretty much it. So we define all our variables. So now we can access them, access them uh, from uh, outside of here when we do declare our objects, which we're going to do in a minute. So this is pretty much done. The only time we'll make some changes to this is at the end. So this class is finished. As long as I didn't make any mistakes, which I hope I have. Let's have a quick look. No, no, no. That seems fine to me. So, um, yeah. So the the gist of these variables here, uh, start x and start y are the same as done here. So starting x equals starting y. Those are the same as those. But um, these here, deduct x, deduct y, compare y and x, and the handle. The handle, as I explained, is for um, grabbing our object for which window, excuse me, we chosen. Uh, compare x and compare y as well as deduct x and deduct y. We're going to use those in our for loop to help us with our scan. So that way we can send any object in there and scan specific areas that we defined outside. So we don't have to define that inside the function, which means we can adapt that very easily to any... We can make any changes to the area that we scan very easily. So if that does make sense to you, we'll very soon, hopefully. So we can now declare our object. So let's open this again and then we've got all our choices in. So First thing we're going to send in here, so let me just go to my code. Yeah, so first thing we're going to send in here is starting x, starting y. Yeah, for some reason mine tends to uh, not ad adapt to these. I, I don't know, it's maybe C++, so this is a little bit buggy. But we know we're on third variable now. So window is HDC main. Um, and now these numbers here were chosen specifically by me. What they basically mean. I'm going to take my shirt off quickly. Well, not my shirt, my jacket. Um, <laughs> this isn't a, a stripping session. Uh, so what these numbers basically mean is are that... Um, so you got, you got yourself 30 here, and that's for compare x. They're basically going to cover the crosshair area. So this here is basically what we're covering. So I tested these myself. I messed around with them and stuff until I got exactly what I wanted. And these are the areas we're going to scan to... Um, so you can modify it to, to get our pixels. So you can modify these to whatever you want, but um, these are just the ones I did for COD. And they will apply to almost any game. Some games may have a slightly off center, um, what's it called, crosshair, 
but um, that you can always find out by testing. I'll show you a way of testing this so you know exactly where you're scanning. Okay, so um, scan contents is done. Uh, so we created our object, so it's 30, 40, minus 30, minus 30. Um, and then we're going to call a function called main scan, which we're going to create in a minute. So main scan. Um, so we're going to create this, I believe, next. I'm going to check my notes. And we're going to send that object in there. So um, I'm just doing this now, exactly now, so I don't forget exactly where I have to put it. So in my notes, it says, so there's our main done. So this is going to be exactly like this, or pretty much most of it like this throughout. Okay. Um, so we're going to create our. So we've created our main scan. So we're going to create uh, our. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to create our main scan right now. So that will mean. Um, so let's just create it here. So main scan. So void main scan. We don't want this one to return anything. Maybe you could return a boolean to say that it was a successful scan, but I don't really feel the need to do that. So we're going to accept the scan contents object. Okay. So it's just a copy. We're not passing this uh, by. Um, reference we're just passing a copy of it so um, yeah so that seems fair enough to me and then what we're going to do is we're going to create our function prototype at the top and all this means is that uh, we have to put this when we declare a function below our main or below where we call it because we want it to um, we want the compiler to know that it actually exists otherwise it will give us an error um, so I'll show you a quick example of this if you like so try and run it, it should give me an error because it won't know what it is there you go, so there you go. So that's why we need our, our thingy. So when we do this, it should be recognized. There you go, beautiful. Okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is going to say int debug runtime. And what we're going to do with this is check how long it takes for our scan to go through. And that's what we use for improvements later on. So uh, it will take a certain amount of time to scan from beginning to end. So from first pixel to last pixel. So while true, and this, as most of you know, is an infinite loop, uh, which you can do while DB, um, so we can say as long as the key is not escaped, then do that. Um, so uh, while true, um, yeah, so we're going to create a thing or two here, we're going to say sleep, 100 milliseconds, and then we're going to set cursor, pause, Set cursor, uh, oops, I screwed this up big time. There you go, that's better. Set cursor pause. Um, yeah, screwed that up. <laughs> Don't know what I did there. So, I forgot to put my loop around this. Um, so, we're going to have to create two loops here. So, for, oh, force shutdown, what are you talking about? Int i equals zero. I'm going to make this y actually, because this will mean we're traveling across our y axis. So, scan dot. Uh, start y plus scan dot I uh, believe that will be deduct y so we're going to be very careful not to make any mistakes here or otherwise you know we, we will definitely see them happening anyway but just be careful here so so whilst the y is less than scan dot um, start y and once again we declare this object so we can easily um, throw anything we want into this function called main scan and um, it will scan exactly where we want it to scan without modifying the inside of the function okay so it's just you know trying to follow good code practices um, so is that plus scan compare y have a quick drink okay that makes sense to me plus scan dot compare y Okay. So whilst this is the case, we y plus plus. So we increase y by one. So what we're saying is we're saying uh, until it reached the end of the y-axis. So here, start scanning here, scan, 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 scan. Until it reaches here, keep going that way. And once it reaches here, increment by one, and then it goes to the next one. Okay. And the same applies with the. Uh, with the y-axis. Actually, sorry, my bad. Uh, this one, because because it's the first loop, it's doing it that way. So it's going like that. So it's going like that, and then like that, and like that. And that's why we've got. So this one's just going down one by one. Oops, put an extra one there. Is that right? Expected a. Come on. What's well, going is less than start? Why? What's wrong with that? Expected a. Point y equals zero. 
Oh, sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. Why should equal this, by the way, guys?